Andrew Tate talks about having kids. Alpha Flight Echid and, and uh, oh man. Crazy. Andrew Tate saying, yeah, you got to have kids, blah, 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 blah. And then you have me promoting vasectomies. I got my vasectomy in 2005. So how old was I then? About 26 or something like that. And uh, 46 now. And the amount of life freedom I have. Like if you compare Andrew Tate's freedom to my level of freedom, compare them. Andrew Tate, more, way more money than me. Me, fucking eons or way more freedom than Andrew Tate has. Andrew Tate has kids. He has that, all that whole legal bullshit going on there. Um, but even if he didn't have that, I still have way more freedom than Andrew Tate. And the main reason I have more freedom than Andrew Tate is I don't have any children. I had a vasectomy. I locked in my freedom. And luckily, beforehand, I didn't get anyone pregnant, as far as I know. Spit on the camera. As far as I know. Maybe someone will come to me any day and say, Harley, um, hey, Daddy, you know. I may get Natasha calls me Daddy, etc. And you know, But uh, I do get called Daddy but not in that you know, biological sense. So I just want to tell guys out there, like, I was talking to make before this end, and uh, on Facebook, and I said, what's the resistance with the, you know, getting a vasectomy? And it's the same answer. Keep speaking, keep trolling, mate. Alzheimer's is kicking in early. Vegan diet, mate. And so he, he said that uh, the thought of having his own child. And I was like, okay. I mean, I, I used to think that as well. And a lot of people think that. But here's the thing, like, what if you have a kid and you regret it? Right? People say, what, do you, what if you get a vasectomy and you regret it? Or you, you get it reversed. What if you have a kid, right? You're like, I want, I want my kid, you know? Oh, cool. But what if you have a kid and the... Put your earphones in. We're going to get some swearing in a second. All right? You got your earphones in? Good. What if you have a kid and the kid's a fucking loser? All right? Fucking loser. And people say, oh, yeah, that's a bit full on, mate. Seriously, what if the kid's a fucking loser? People might consider me a fucking loser. So what if you're born another Duranite, you know? Oh, you're a vegan. Oh, you're a cyclist. Oh, you're into health and into the environment. Oh, into recycling and into simple living and into helping people and animals. Oh, you're a fucking... Everyone has a different different definition of what a loser is. But what if I've got a kid and the kid's like, I don't want to ride a bike. I want to fucking eat Big Macs. I don't, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't want to fucking recycle shit. I don't want to fucking do this. Fuck you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just thinking, what the fuck have I done? All right. I could have been helping out some people out there who wanted to be helped, but I've created this spawn of demon spawn. All right. You know, so what if you have a kid and the kid turns out a fucking loser when your eyes is a loser? You know? Or the kid's born with some challenges, physical challenges, mental challenges, which is, people say that it refers to me, and I, I wouldn't, wouldn't deny that. But, you know, what if your kid has is born with some issues that are so overt that in society they have an extra hard life. But what if the kid's born with everything perfect, but they just don't like their life? Do you know how many people I've met in my life who don't actually like their life? They hate pretty much everything. They just, they, they're semi on the edge of, over the cliff. You know, some have even done it, or they're just into drugs, and they just... I don't know what it is, man. Something, maybe it's in the brain chemistry or what is it? Nature or nurture? But what if you have a kid and that happens to, to you? Happens to them. And that's what millions of parents out there. So when I tell people you want to have a kid, okay, cool. But just expect the worst and hope for the best. Because most likely, if you have a child, you're going to have some serious fucking dramas, people. You're going to have some serious, you know, financial responsibility, emotional responsibility, health responsibility, the kid gets a cracked tooth or gets a, you know, broke his bone or gets freaking molested or touched up or someone makes a fake rape claim about it or the fucking, they get cancer, you know, terminal cancer, fucking on the order, six months to live, can't, can't do surgery because it's too delicate. You know, like just, why? You know, why? When we can help the kids and the people who are already here. That's my argument. I'm like, why would you want... So I could get... This is a trick my dome. The new one's twenty, about $20,000 Australian. I could go buy it today. I can afford it. But why? Review videos? They aren't worth it. And I've got this bad boy. It's worth about 500 bucks Aussie. 600, 700 bucks Aussie. Christ, killer. Lighter, 
faster, stiffer, more aero. If you know, you know. You know, why are we going to make our life harder? Because, oh, that's what I want this, I want that. Okay, I get the wants, but we always have to think of, you know, especially when it's happening to children, does the kid want to be born? A lot of kids don't want to be born. A lot of people's lives out there are fucking miserable. I love my life. I, I fucking love my life. But a lot of people out there, their life is fucking misery. I don't, and I don't know if that's like a brain thing, if you're born like that, born to lose. Some people might be financially successful, but emotionally losers because they just, just, you know, struggle town, struggle town. Like I would consider Andrew Tate a winner in some aspects, but a loser in others. With his health, loser. Dude smokes cigarettes, thinks meat's healthy and colon cancers doesn't exist. You know? I would call Andrew Tate a winner in his amazing ability to charismatically woo his audience. He's an amazing, entertaining speaker. I'd call Andrew Tate a loser in that he has to wear you know, all this bling and drive a Bugatti because his fear of judgment of simps, you know? <laughs> I'll call Andrew Tate a loser in that his life freedom has been cuffed. And not just by the police, but cuffed by his children and all that responsibility. Right? He ain't, I mean, people say, oh, he's doing what he's doing. He's on the private jet. Where's, who's looking out for the fucking kids, man? You know what I mean? What, like, anyway, that's, that's just my opinion. Uh, you have yours, but having kids ain't no joke, man. It's the hardest job in the world. And the reason why I can give my time to so many thousands and thousands of people out there is because I don't have any children responsibility and I've designed my life so I can give the most if I had kids man fuck man no way because then the kid's going to get judged or oh, you're not as good as your dad or your dad did this or your dad's fuck with or your dad's a legend but you're not or blah 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 just you know social media bullying as well I mean that's a fuck man great what if your kid's born and I mean, it's just like, it's fucking, I, I mean, I can't, there's things I can't even say on here. You can maybe use your imagination, but what if your kid's born with certain things? Society's so fucking cruel, aren't they? All right? Especially with social media now, it's like, it's like the, the mental health of kids today. Like, you go on TikTok, and there's some chick, Leah Holton or someone, she's, I saw this video, got like 70 million views, and she's got the full face filter on. She's got the full pro makeup Plus the face filter. She looks nothing like that in real life. And that's, of course, the social media. But it's like, how does she feel? And all the kids watching that go, oh, my God, she's so pretty. They don't understand the filters and the makeup. And, you know? It's just, it's like, when you're a 10-year-old kid watching that, what's going on in your brain? You know what I mean? It's like, and then you look in the mirror, you know, like what you see. It's like, so you've got them getting, like, body dysmorphia at 10, or how old do kids get mobile phones these days? I don't know. You know, so it's just, it's just hard for kids now. Back when I grew up, fucking amazing. Go jump in your BMX. It was sort of, Nintendo had just come out, first Nintendo, I think it was like 86 or something, but hard anyone had one, Atari maybe, Sega, Seekers. You go ride your BMX with your mates, you know? There's no mobiles, there's no, no bullying you on your phone or whatever, you know? It's just fucking perfect, wasn't it? In the 80s in Australia. Fucking perfect, man. 20 cents, bag of mixed lollies. 50 cents, bag of mixed lollies. You carve up all your sugar, run around all day in nature in the fresh air, exercising. And then now, oh, don't ride a bike. It's dangerous. Oh, there's dangerous people out there. And you sit on the phone, stay away from sugar and eat lots of fat. <laughs> and now we're seeing, you know, kids as young as 10 with fucking colon cancer, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. Like I never, there was one one fat kid at my school in in the eighties, one, and then he eventually lost weight, ditched the fatty food. One fat kid in my school, man, and now it's like spot the spot the fucking fit looking kid. It's sad because the fat consumption's gone up. Anyway, that's a different story. But I'm just saying, kids is uh, the hardest job on the planet, and uh, vasectomy, man. I, I would tell every man get a vasectomy. All right, lock in your freedom. Because you can always change your mind later. All right, you can always change your mind later. But what if you have a vasectomy and you regret it? What if you get someone pregnant and you fucking regret it? Women change after, most women change after childbirth and not for the better, all right? The common complaint guys tell me is like, she got, she got the kid and now I'm like, I'm just a fucking ATM. 
I'm just a cash machine and the kid's getting all the focus. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay? A lot of guys don't understand that. Oh, she's going to give me a sexual intention as I wanted. Oh, that's how it works, man. All right? They got a baby. It's like a new kitten. It's like, oh, that's his nature, you know? She got you what she wanted, some, some fucking DNA and some cash. Next. You know, it's just how it works. Like, I talk to so many single mums out there, man. You know, I've been with single mums before and, and, and hear, hear firsthand and see firsthand the challenges. Like, women are definitely different after having a baby. Pros and cons to that. Not many pros, actually. Actually, what's the pro? 